blow the Alfred Hitchcock office. <laughs> May I help you? <laughs> I'm sorry Mr. Hitchcock's not in yet, but I'm expecting him any moment. Oh, I, I think I hear him coming now. I'll tell him you called. Okay, bye. Good morning, Miss Pembroke. Oh, Mr. Hitchcock, you frightened me. How many times have I told you, Miss Pembroke, that fear and violence is my business? If you want laughs, go work for the gong show. Yes, Mr. Hitchcock. You seem to be a little dusty. Why don't you go to the powder room and freshen up? Oh, oh, thank you. In fact, while you're there, you could take a shower. Shower? Shower? I saw psycho! I saw it happen! All right, don't take a shower. <laughs> but we've got a lot of work to do. I think we'd better get started, Miss Pembroke. Oh, yes, sir. I think I'll have my morning cocoa and crumpet. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Hitchcock. The... Thank you. You're welcome. I, uh... I think I'd like my crumpet sliced. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Pembroke, what is it? Nothing. I was just startled by your cookie cutter. I think that you could use some air. I'll just go over here and open the rear window. Rear window! Never mind, Miss Pembroke. I'm doing some research for some of my old films. Would you be so kind as to go into the closet, look in uh, closet number 14 and bring me the record, K. Sera Sera from the movie, The Man Who Knew Too Much. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh dear, I've made a terrible mistake. Closet number 14 is the movie, The Birds. Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. Mr. Hitchcock, do you mind if I take the rest of the day off? I'm feeling a little tired. Certainly, Miss Pembroke. Oh, thank you, thank you. I think I'll go see a, a relaxing movie, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins? Ah!